Hello, this is Robin. I want to welcome all of my new friends and the ones that's been with me from the beginning. I appreciate every single one of you. I am just leaving my mom's. She um, had her pacemaker surgery. Uh, she's been home now for two days and um, she wasn't allowed to be alone for a while. I've been in here since last Thursday morning and I just wanted to tell you that I missed Jinzal and just to give you a update. She is home. She has a sling on. She's got to keep it on for 10 days. She's not allowed to lift her left arm above her heart. Um, the wires from the pacemaker that they stuck, they cut her up on her left shoulder and went down through and stuck the leads uh, into the arteries in her heart and then they connected them to the pacemaker and patched her up pretty good and they have to allow the arteries and things in her heart to grow around the um, the wires to keep them in place so um, she was having a rough time the first couple days she was really sore and tired and everybody knows when you're in a hospital you don't get that much rest so um, I ran out of my medicine or I wouldn't have been going home yet and I have a doctor's appointment and I've already rescheduled it once and I called my sister to let her know I'm leaving so they're gonna come down and um, the doctor said she goes to the doctor in 10 days and they said that she is allowed to start being left alone um, like at nighttime but they need someone needs to help her right like around supper time and I did as much up there as I could with my one arm um, you know kept dishes done helped cook helped her you know helped my sister and my brother and then with the laundry and um, dusted and everything so I did the dishes up before I left this morning and made sure she had something to eat and pinned her hair up for her and stuff but um I feel better about going home and I told her that I'm going to come back in to see her before it gets cold so I'll probably be back in in September sometime but um you know we all kind of got you know our lives and our kids and grandkids that we got to deal with too and she understands that and she felt bad every day that we were there helping her because you know she's mom she's 90 but she's very self-efficient she's always done for herself and she still wants to do for herself and I thank God every day that he brought her through the surgery and the battery in the pacemaker is supposed to last for up to 10 years and she will go back periodically and they have like a wand that they will wave over her uh, pacemaker to make sure that it's working properly. And I just want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for all of your prayers, your thoughts, um, your videos that you've made on behalf of me um, and on behalf of my mom asking for prayer. Uh, I don't think I'd ever, ever be able to repay you, but just know that um, I appreciate it. I love you, and I've missed you. I miss my mom, but I'm kind of glad that I'm going back home, um, get back into my routine, and they promise that if they need me for anything, anything at all, they will call me. And all I got to do is jump in my car and I will be back up here in a heartbeat. So um, I just thank God that prayer works, you know, prayer works. It does. And God is an awesome God. And he, again, may not give us what we feel that we want or need in that time. 
we get what we need in his time. And it wasn't my mom's time to go, but before they took her up to surgery, she was very calm. And like she said, if it was time for her, she knew where she was gone. She was gonna go home to be with God in heaven. And that is a very, very comfort feeling, knowing that she raised us in church. She always was in church. Um, and we know that that's where she's gonna go when it comes her time. And even though we would miss her sadly, but it gives you a peace inside that you don't understand until you get there in that time of your life that um, this is only our temporary home, like the song says. And uh, we are just visiting here and we will go to our permanent home. And hopefully when that time comes, each and every one of us is ready and has made that decision that that's where we want to spend the rest of our life is in heaven with God. But I'm not on here to preach. But um, again, I miss Jens. I will be back to doing the videos. I don't have no internet service um, to upload this. So as soon as I get home, it is 12 minutes after 11. And this is Tuesday. So, I'm not going to make this long. I am sitting in traffic right now. I have to stop and get gas. But, um, I felt bad because my mom said it's lonely after we leave. You know, we're there every day with her for a while. And then, my brother's there. But it's lonely. So, she cried and I cried. And I think I did pretty good because I didn't cry. If I had to cry, I went to the bathroom or left the room because I didn't want to upset her. So, again, if you would, please continue keeping her in your prayers. I'd greatly appreciate it. And um, I just wanted to get on here and do a little bit of an update and a little bit of a car vlog. I missed doing the videos. I missed interacting with Yuns. Um, so, again, I don't even know how long this is over seven minutes already. I'm going to keep my on, eye on the road and drive. So I just want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for everything. Um, I love you and I will put this up as soon as I get home and then I will start posting more videos. So you take care. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week until we talk again. All right. Love you Bye.